Well, hello everyone, and welcome back here to the Rim World. Um, last episode, we more or less broke the uh, the great siege of the town of Grumpyville. These guys are still running around up here, but as you can see, they're not doing very well. This guy's dazed and wandering, and everyone else just seems to be getting rather hungry, in fact starving. So I'm expect expecting them to break fairly soon, and we'll see what they do when they do. They might just wander around, um, they might wander off, but in any case, we're just going to leave them be for now, because quite frankly, I don't think we're strong enough to uh, go up there and deal with them. So, we're going to concentrate on things a little bit closer to home. To start off with, we're finally getting the kitchen and the uh, the dining room laid out there, which is which is looking good, with a very tasteful green carpet there, I think. And um, it would be nice if we get the prison sorted out, which is supposed to be here. But uh, one of the big problems we're having now is the removal of rocks. As you can see, our rock stockpile is somewhat full. So the first thing I'm going to do is make that a bit larger. So let's do that now. There we go. That'll give us a bit more space, and people should start putting that there. But I think we also do want to uh, have a look at crafting. See if we can make it a bit more important. So our crafter is grumpy who also does growing and that's probably the problem because we are growing all the time um, Jono also does crafting but he's a hauling specialist so let's find someone else Galga what do you do you do construction and John you're our hunter so I'll tell you what you are going to be our number one craftsman and uh, that's probably going to hit us a little bit on hauling, but we'll we'll deal with that problem later on. So let's get the ball rolling. The other things I want to do today is start building the defences up here so we can open up that and close this entrance at the bottom here, which is not very good. And I would also like to see if we can get some... Yes, we have it researched. I'd also like to get some hydroponic plants in because this stuff grows slower than the hydroponic stuff and even with sun lamps the stuff doesn't grow at night research finish slag refining build slag refineries which use heat and strong electromagnets to extract useful metal from slag chunks great not immediately useful but I'm sure it will happen so we've got colored lights which are fairly useless fertilizer pump which we don't need and then it's the ship stuff which takes a long time so let's get some of this out the way computer core antimatter is a big one antimatter reactor is almost as big crypto sleep pods we're probably going to need more of those so it makes sense if we build those up over a period of time so let's do that first when that's done we'll start thinking about laying out the ship which actually I, I confess I've never done before Okay, kitchen is looking better. Let's get rid of some of this um, uh, planning stuff we were doing. Just let them finish that off, and then we will... Oh, who's been attacked? Sieging pirates are assaulting the colony. I want to know who's been attacked. Not seeing anything. Okay, let's uh, let things run and see how we go. Galga, where are you off to? Don't think uh, one of them is he actually attacking us? Oh, Sean, no, he's giving up and leaving. Dazed and wandering. No, I don't actually consider these guys to be a problem anymore. Um. We'll wait until they're gone and steal their stuff perhaps but it is a long way to go so let's not worry about that too much okay okay kitchen is nearly done need to get some lighting in here so let's make that our next project furniture standing lamp so we'll have one there one there one there one there to start off with and we're out of metal so let's get a little bit of mining on the go as well so that's mined out but this one isn't so let's mine here 
we'll mine it out, and then it's mine. Ha ha. Sorry about that. Excellent. And... It's done there. We should actually have this stuff hauled out fairly soon. Let's get rid of those plans there. And that's a smooth stone blueprint, so somebody will come around and do that in a little bit. Um, don't know why that's not been done yet. Possibly other things needed to be done first. Okay, so we're, we're chugging along quite nicely. Still got plenty of food. We could use a bit more manpower, I think. But uh, that will come with time. How are these trees doing? Fully grown in 12 days. Trees don't get harvested automatically as far as I can see, so you have to order them to be done so. What are you doing it? Oh great, okay, we now have some lights in this place. That's excellent, so let's get rid of these. And let's start setting up some stuff here. So we'll have a cook stove, a cook stove here, and we'll have a butcher table here, and we shall make the food zone here. So. There we go, and then we will just store raw food here. Uh, so we don't want meals. Let's make this one critical. And we don't want apparel in there. And we want animal corpses, but not humanoid corpses. So, yeah, we don't want buried corpses, that looks about right. Um, actually, let's make that one low. We'll keep this one here as our main storage area until these are built, and then we'll swap them over. And likewise, when they're done, we'll put some tables and other bits and pieces in this area. A medieval lord from the Sun's Tree is passing by. His name is Jakob Sawyer. Not really interested. Uh, it's these are missing materials wood wall a butcher table and a wood door so it looks like we definitely need some wood let's see what we can get uh, chop wood anything here yes three there anything here how about here yeah there's a few there as well that's good and actually while we're at it let's get a few out here done as well yeah, that should get the tea whistling wood for a little bit. Right. And that's nearly done as well. Excellent. Does that have a, a blueprint for a door? No, it doesn't. Let's stick one in there. So, wood door in there just to seal that off. There we go. Excellent. What's the message? group of visitors from village at the crag are passing by. Oh, very nice for them. Oh, good, we're neatening up some of these rooms as well, which is excellent. In fact, let's pile on the order, shall we? Haul things! Get that stuff out of the way. And let's get that stuff out of the way as well. We've got space to put it now. I'm presuming we are making... Yes. Make stone blocks. I haven't seen John over there yet. But uh, he's doing other things as well. So that's alright. We're getting there. That's the important thing. So, okay, there's the cook stove. So let's start switching these things over. So this one is now our critical store. And this one is normal. Okay, that's excellent. So they will move stuff across. And as soon as they do. We'll act. We can do that now. Let's change the bills over. So what do we have here? 
a bill, cook simple meals up to 10. How many people do we have now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's make that a bit higher. So we shall here add bill, cook simple meal, um, do until you have. 18, 16, 17, 18. So that's two per person in the colony. Should keep us going all right. And until we build the table and that, let's just have a little zone to put them in. So stockpile, we'll just put it there. Storage. Actually, we want meals, we don't want raw. Down to that, we don't want that, we don't want that. And we don't want corpses because I think that would spoil the ambiance. And that for now is our number one place to put them. So we'll cancel the bill here. And we will also get that mark for deconstruction. And what's how we doing for material? We have plenty of metal. So let's make a metal table. Here. See, let's put it there. And we'll have metal stalls around it. Three, four. As soon as that's built, we'll destroy this one here. It'll give us a little bit of wood, perhaps to get that butcher table meant. Oh, looks like they're making it anyway. Excellent. Cryo sleep pods. So we got that. Um, let's make the computer core because that's relatively cheap and we have an AI component. So while we're thinking about it. We should actually start thinking about making uh, the ship. But in order to do that, we're going to need a lot more metal. I think a little bit of exploratory mining would not hurt at this point. So we need to clean this corner out anyway. So let's ask them to mine out this corner. See if there's anything in there, and we also need to clear this bit out. One, two, three, four, that far back, and we'll see what we find in there. All right, food's being moved up, all right, table being built, hey, good. One thing we can do is. Uh, that zone is important, so no, no new stuff. Oh, it's his being put there. Why is that? Because you're playing Alpha. Where's this one? This is Alpha Five, not uh, Alpha Six. So that stockpile needs to be much larger. So what we'll do is we'll make it that. Big. Oh, come on. Elite zones like that, and then it's stockpile. Let's see if we can expand that up here. That doesn't work in this version of the author either. As you can probably tell, I've been playing other versions of this game recently, and um, so that's eight sixteen, and that one was probably good enough, um, and meals stack um, after this version of the alpha which is a great improvement if you ask me so we don't want corpses we don't want apparel don't want raw resources we don't want that we don't want that we just want meals excellent and that one is critical and likewise we don't want raw we don't want manufactured we don't want raw resources we don't want apparel we don't want corpses, and that one is critical. So 8, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that will keep us going for a little bit. And we looks like we missed a square of carpet there. Can't have that. Let's have some more tasteful green carpet there. Have we got everything else? We've got everything else. Excellent. 
So there we go. Did wonder why they were putting wheels back down here. Now I know why. Oh great, the floor is nearly done. That's going to improve people's morale. And it looks like we're doing a bit of mining in here. Not finding anything at the moment, but what we can do is start digging up here and see what we find. In fact, I don't think there is particular harm in ordering that right now. So let's just go that way for a little bit and see what we find. One of the moons of this planet is orbited in front of the sun and eclipse has begun. A little bit of a problem for us because we are partially reliant on solar power. It's a combat supply. Now that is interesting. Now who's my talky person? Um, three, four... Oh, nobody's really got much social skill, have they? So I tell you what, Barrow, you are now going to be our talky person. Nobody else has got much of the way of skill, have they? And besides, we want wardens to get uh, social up anyway. And you're close, which is good. So have a call to Jennifer Rutterbag. What do we have? Oh, okay, so your medicine is actually quite cheap. That's good. And, right, we only have a spare Enfield, and quite frankly, they don't have anything we want. So forget that, but we will have some medicine. Thank you very much. Excellent. Alright, good, okay, and that's getting organized, so let's get this. That will mark for deconstruction, and while we're at it, let's put another table up here so it looks nicer. And metastores again. And there goes the batteries, yay! At least it's kept some of the food growing, which is great. That eclipse will be over soon, and we shall start recharging. But it would be nice if we could think of a place of getting some more geothermal power. Oh, we're digging down there now. Have we found anything? No, nope, not yet. Never mind. But this is dug out nicely, which is good. And in fact, are we building much at the moment? We're not building much at the moment. Let's start laying this out a little bit, shall we? What's that? There's a combat supplier passing by. I don't need that. It's got nothing to sell you. Uh, what do I want? I want structure. I want stone walls. And I know at the very least I want a stone wall there. Okay, so what I'm thinking is that we'll have on the outer side some sandbags and then we'll have occasional blocks here uh, with turrets in between them. So when a turret blows up, it will not blow up the next turret. So let's start laying that out. See how that looks. That's excellent. Let's Let's mine through that. Okay, and then we can put. In fact, let's mine through that. We'll put the doorway in here. But uh, we'll build a stone wall here as well, so that'll soak up a bit of the uh, the damage. And we shall put a door in there. And essentially, let's put a second door. Make it a bit harder to get in, just in case someone breaks through there. So this side is more or less laid out. What are we missing? A mysterious blight has destroyed your crops. A group of from so and so has come to visit the colony. Yeah, excellent. So okay, let's get some sandbags in there. We're still desperately short on metal, so 
before we go much further, we are going to have to find some, aren't we? So let's get some orders in. Uh, research finished ship's computer core, excellent. Antimatter reactor, let's do that one. So let's dig down here, see if we can find anything. Up to. And there. And there. It'll take a little bit of time, but if there's any metal in there, we'll find it soon enough. So there we go, we have a new kitchen. Still use a little bit more light in there, I think, but now the eclipse over, it's not that bad. No, that's all right. Bedrooms are looking better. We started to create some more stone. And we started to work on the defenses here. So I would say not a bad episode all told. Which is fairly good because I think we are reaching 20 minutes right now. So I think I'm going to leave it there. Before we go. Is there anyone left up here? There's nobody left up here. Do we want this metal? A new area has been revealed. Ooh. Ah. Hmm. That's interesting. A little bit of a problem as well, to be totally honest with you. Because we now can effectively get attacked from this side. So I think we're going to need to put a wall in. Let's set that up. And then we'll call it an episode, okay? Oh, metal there, metal there. Very nice. So let's build that wall. Structure, stone wall. We'll put it, say, here. And that's a whole new area opened up for us. Plenty of metal. Quite nice, actually, really. And while I'm thinking about it, let's grab some of this metal. And I suppose, what weapons have we got? Oh, an M24. Yes, we'll have that. And pistol we can sell, pistol we can sell. Mm, we want to go, yes, I think we want to haul them. And a recently dead squirrel, we'll eat that as well. Oh, so there's plenty of stuff up here to haul. should really strip these guys see what equipment they've got first and there's loads of meat here actually as well what state is this in this is not very good really is it but that is some more nice weapons we'll have those thank you very much I suppose while we're at it if we're coming up here lots we might as well grab this me meat as well There we go. Right. So that's going to get our holders running around being a bit busy, which is a good thing. All told, I think not particularly bad episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Well, thank you very much, guys. This has been The Room World. I've been Simon Parsons. Thank you and good night.